It's like, hey, like, we need to, or we need to kick the door. And I'm like, well, hold on, hold on. Let's see if the door's unlocked. <laughs> and, it's like, <laughs> and it's like, it's funny. Right? It's, it's funny to say that, right? But then it's like, you go back to even like working like IR responses or doing pen tests. And it's like, oh, we have to try this super MS Venom mm -hmm. or Metasploid. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just see if we can like pivot to slash admin and see if passwords admin admin. Hey, we're in. And it's just like, <laughs> when it comes to having the mentors and trainees to work with is huge on like, hey, uh, Beta, can I sit with you while you're doing this next kind of level? I'm, I've been trying it, but I'm not the greatest with it. And that's that's the type of training I think that people can get so much learning out of too when it comes to working with coworkers or mentoring or being an intern and asking those questions. <laughs> next. So. Yeah, that's something I always tell people is like take advantage of downtime. That's I've gotten so upskilled in just like, oh no, I have a few days between my next assessment. Like, I know it's nice you could go like on YouTube or something and just zone out, but like you could get those labs done that you've been wanting to do. And just like the amount of growth sometimes I'll get in just like a few days where I have some downtime, it's like enormous. That's always my biggest tip for people too. There's so many cheat sheets and stuff you can now grab these mm -hmm. these days too. Like Bailey Marshall has one, I think, on her security rec site too, that she, and there's just hacking and all these other ones you can go to that you can just find all that stuff, but you start repet the repetition. Like I'm very much a hands-on learner.